Hey, it's Rob Miller here from flightsintoday.com and today I'm going to bring you uh, something a bit different which I try to do on the podcast and I'm now going to do it via video and obviously then export to the podcast going forward if you want to listen to it in the future. But it's just the news basically for the week that's gone by and this goes from I think it's the 13th, May the 13th, 2013 um, to the current time which is 0810 Zulu on the 20th of May 2013. So the first thing we come to on this one here um, is AWG Simulations released the uh, Africa XP scenery for X-Plane. Um, and basically the use of OpenStreetMap data uh, for X-Plane add-ons definitely seems to be taking off um, at the moment. Um, Scenery Tech XP through AWG Simulations is now taking that to Africa and they bring more accurate open source data set um, into use to provide either pure OSM data or OSM plus default autogem to fill the gaps between OSM areas and the entire continent is covered so the entire Africa is covered within this I have to say it does look pretty neat um, on the screenshots you see here. So what I will do as I go forward before I mention it every single time is I will link to each of the thing I mentioned here so that you can click on the link for the description of the video. Okay. Next um, we have a company called Throttle Tech and they build custom throttles for you. Um, it's a new company and they just build them upon demand should you wish uh, to, I mean they've built all sorts from looking at the with page A with the Learjet 707 um, don't look at the regular stuff if you want a throttle creating then they'll do it just head over to throttletech.com that's throttle and tech t-e-k dot com um, just give me a shout if you're looking at a throttle being made and they will do that for you we have uh, further screenshots for FTX Global um, the one that came out is of the Algarve in Portugal. Um, they say it was off the from the forum, and uh, the guy that's posted it up pretty much is uh, John Lovell says it's it's FTX Global straight out of the box um, of the Algarve. Um, does look pretty neat, neat I should say. Uh, so. All it uses is a separate mesh on this of FS Genesis, but as you can tell from the screenshots, pretty neat, pretty neat job. Um, to be fair, I love Orbix. I love what they do. If if you're not after photo scenery, but you want to make it a little more realistic, FTX Global is your go-to, or your FDX and Orbix, I should say, is your go-to um, for for that. But yeah, but good good looking screenshots for there. Um, Canado. Now, if you're into your your smaller aircraft, um, more general aviation aircraft, uh, so you'll you'll know about these guys. Um, they offer neat, 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 neat aircraft. Um, but many of you don't actually think about the gauges first when you hear about Conado, because they're known for the, obviously the external models and the 3D virtual cockpit. Um, but on their upcoming TBM 850, um, we notice that the gauges do look really neat, um, sharp sharp textures um, quite exciting actually that that is the aircraft you can fly that is how it looks um, there's going to be a lot of fun once you get onto it uh, really really neat looking and realistic textures realistic cockpit but what more do you expect from Coronado uh, from there and obviously then the other thing we have is just flights X100 XP which we did review here at flightsimtoday.com. Um, they have moved, or the they, the aircraft is now available on uh, Sim Markets. If you if you buy your aircraft from Sim Market, you can now get just flights 800 XB Bizjet off there. It's a nice little aircraft. Um, it's a twin jet uh, luxury aircraft. It's available for FXX and uh, P3D. Uh, comes in several liveries, but you can actually then buy like, the livery pack that you see here um, to 
to get more liveries. Personally, I don't care about the liveries. You don't look from the outside most of the time. You're flying from the inside, so the base package is always enough for me. But some people prefer this kind of thing, so you, I mean, you can do that. But it's all available now on um, on the sim market. And if you want to know about the aircraft, then please do check out our review of Just Flight's 800 XP Bizjet. The next thing that got me pretty excited actually was Latin VFR's uh, Miami updates. Um, they're still they're still uh, developing Miami International, or the version two of it, I should say. Um, but the screenshots look immense and look so realistic. And my favourite one is the one down here of uh, over taxiways. How realistic does that look with runway eight right there? Um, and they also put as well the frames are looking to say little note at the bottom. Uh, the frames are in excess of 35 and running smoothly, so they're doing a pretty good job. Um, there's still some tasks that need to complete on their to-do list before they can share it with us all. Um, but let's be honest with the screenshots like that, it does look immense, so realistic that I actually might start flying a few long hauls into Miami if that's what I've got to fly into. So another few screenshots coming up as well is that Aerosoft announced Nor I hope I pronounce this right, Norlisk X. It's a, a Russian air airfield. Um, that that they've picked it, but it's uniform Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Um, say so it's in Russia, um, but they've picked it based on because of the extreme weather that the place receives. To give you a bit of an idea on this and the weather, there's a weather chart down here. If I open this up, the max temperature in January is. Minus, well, it's quite minus eight. The minimum is minus sixty-four degrees Celsius. You know, it's cold. This place is cold. Um, so they've picked it for the obviously the extreme weather on the actual. Because it can be warm, it can be cold. In the screenshot here shows obviously the ice. It's all over the terminal on the apron. Um, but one thing that got me really well. I mean, really excited and impressed was the slope lighting effect, the slope runway there. How neat does that look? Um, with the slope lighting and the slope runway that we've got here. So it's going to be a, a, a quality, quality um, airfield. I mean, you might not fly into it, but um, it's worth a punt if you if you like your aerosoft and. Uh, you like a bit of a, a challenge, and this one might be good for you. It's not available yet, but the release is um, can't be that too far away, really. So keep an eye out for that. But the screenshots look pretty, pretty top class. Then we got a freeware um, package or freeware program out there. Now a lot of people have obviously asked me about um, flight planning and and how they plan their flights and things like that. And TA Software, it's a guy called Tim Arnott. I hope we pronounced your surname correctly. Um, but he has a, a, pro, a program called Plan G. And an update now uh, is out for 3.0. But it's basically a free flight planner. Um, and it loads PDF charts using enhanced user interface and more features to edit flight plans in an easy manner. Um, and it's far better. I mean, if you if you're just looking for a, a free a free uh, planner, it's better than the FSX one or X plane. Then this is your go-to one. Say so I'll I'll put the um, the link up in the description, but it's tasoftware.co.uk slash plan g dot htm um, come over to here download it pretty neat offers quite a lot of um of features for free that you can use and one other thing that got me pretty excited because I've just started to try and fly the Airbus um, now having been you know, flying the Boeings for quite some time is the Air Insight released a A320 throttle um, which is now able to sim market. This impressive piece of hardware is an accurate replica of the real Airbus um, thrust and start to control with motorized trim wheel, throttle gates, totally backlighted, and always USB plug and play. They have um, 
I mean, just to bring up the, the screenshot for you, how cool does that look? So, um, it's like it's each release that VR Insight bring out, it just gets better and better. So, if you've been looking for an airbus throttle that um, that is simple just to plug in and get going, this is your one. Uh, so, yes, yeah, it's one same market. Let me check that out. And then PMDG. Everyone at the moment is crying out about the 777. When is it coming out? I want it now. How far away? When's the release? And they're all guessing when the release date is, and etc. etc. But PMDG on their Facebook page released a few, um, so, well, the first airline livery to, um, revealed for the PMDG 200 LR. Uh, that they'll release soon. So we had the uh, Korean Air or Korean Air Cargo um, livery. There was um, the Air India. And Air India, we had Aerologic. There was a Delta, I think. Yeah, a Delta. Looks pretty neat there. Um, FedEx, which if you're into cargo, I normally sometimes do like air haul and things like that. Um, FedEx is the one, though. And that looks awesome. And that's the Air Canada uh, livery. So, you can tell that. Now that they're releasing screenshots of liveries, it can't be too far away, surely. Um, but as always, PMDG like to keep you uh, guessing and teasing. So please be patient. As soon as we know, you will know um, on this one. And then there's Robin in the Box from Airsoft. Um, the developer, I think I have to pronounce this right, Wacking Schweigler. Um, develops this uh, this off his own uh, Robin DR400 four seat Tora, and now it's released through Airsoft in the box version. So that the fans that prefer their downloads or their add-ons on a shelf rather than downloaded, um, these guys can also get it out. What I'm going to do, I decide on here, is I will actually play um, the video of it so you can see it through. So it's only three minutes fifty-four. But I will shut up at this point while the video plays and then you can just take it all in for the add-on.
Uh, we'll start out there. So they have a nice looking, neat uh, little aircraft. I'm actually contemplating adding to my own uh, virtual hangar there. Um, so we go along, along, and Turbine Sound Studios. Um, the guys, if you don't know who these guys are, release awesome um, engine sounds and new sounds for uh, your aircraft. I have chosen another turboprop as their subject of the latest sound pack release uh, for FS9 and FSX. And this time the P or Pratt & Whitney 127D power plant used by the ATR 42 and 72 regional airliners. Basically it's recorded from a number of aircraft and the sound pack comes with additional features in the form of some HD footage of the aircraft. Um, this is the FSX version. Again what I'm planning on doing is so you can almost take in the video and whatnot is um, playing it from the video and you can watch it from there so hit play and we're going to full screen Alright, so I'm going to play there, because uh, obviously it sound. Hopefully this sounds working, I just thought before, hopefully this sounds working for this for you guys, um, so that you can hear. Um, otherwise it's kind of worthless playing the video, and it's silent when it's meant to be something about sound. Um, but anyway, there we go. Uh, moving on, France VFR um, covers, I don't know how you pronounce it, is it Boron? Boron, yeah? Um, there's many fans now of the photo real scenery um, and France VFR in general, um, and obviously now they've issued issued, uh, issued the, the release of um, this region. It's better known in English as actually Burgundy, um, and it's famous for the deep red coloured wine made within the region. It lies east of the massive central and cent central and central France, um, with the major settlement being Dijon. Um, and it comes. This comes in one meter or better resolution area photos. Um, so you get major water bodies um, that are now made landable in the appropriate aircraft. But I mean, there's some of the screenshots of it. I mean, France VFR is immense as it is, as some of you guys know. But the screenshots, obviously, see on your screen now, um, give you an idea that if you fly, fly France quite a bit, it's definitely worth getting hold of the regions you fly in because it just makes it become look so real and so realistic during your flights that you know anything that adds really realism in this game is always an added bonus and you have to look out the window. So that's that there for France VFR. Um I'm moving along here. Uh, F S D G um Germany North was released. Um and mainly thanks to the efforts of one locally based publishing house, um, this was out. But Germany's amongst the most populated countries in the world 
for Microsoft FS Scenery add-ons. So it's no surprise that another one ends up appearing. But FSDG have now entered the arena as well with Deutschland X North or DEX. And the first part of a grand presentation of the entire country now a photo based land class with OSM based linear features and custom auto gem, 3D lighting, improved airports and up to 500 custom scenery objects within the area. DEX is designed to be compatible with other regional products such as VFR, G, uh, VFR Germany, uh, Ultimate Terrain X Europe and Grand Environment X. Um, plus can be combined with other add-ons such as German airfields or airport scenes packages. Um, you can get the complete package say, off office market here. Um, so if you fly in Germany and obviously you're looking for an overall sort of land and and an area, then it's worth checking it out because this covers obviously a lot more than some of the other um, based areas where it's just one place. So I say the link will be in the description of the video from here. Then we have Mega Scenery Earth, and they released New York, um, but more New York, more than New York City, um, it's the entire state that Mega Scenery Earth covers with high definition photo real textures and mesh, so you can fly to Albany, Buffalo, and Rochester, um, just to name the most most famous ones. Okay, it's available at Sim Market. Um, I'm gonna try and play the video here. I obviously don't want to go too deep, but We'll play it from this point here. So hopefully the sound is on, otherwise you're just going to get a uh, quiet video. So it's up in the mountain range, um, uh, but to give you a bit of a view of so we have a screenshots of um, New York City and Central Park, um, over the top of Buffalo. So there's there's quite a lot going on, and I mean, people. I mean, I've never used them. I never used Mega Scenery Earth, but people rave about them and say they're actually awesome. So. If you fly most of the New York, then definitely it's worth checking it out from there. Um, we have a freeware scenery. It is Frog, well, Frog X develops Lima Factor Papa Tango Pontoise, I think pronounce it. Um, but if you ever use a standard instrument departure charts of Paris Charles de Gaulle, you might have noticed the Pontoise VOR often used to guide your turns out at the Paris departure radar. Just a few thousand feet below your wheels stands the airport. Um, that's now has been developed uh, as a freeware for FSX by FrogX. So what I will do, I'll say I'll I'll link this down in the description if you fancy checking it out and it's something you might want to fly to from there. Um, Aerosoft Skiathos X, the second trailer for it. I'm not gonna. Um, Say, so play the video uh, for you. So, but it is available for you because obviously I uh, would end up keep playing these videos over and over again. But if you want to do it, check it out and say the whole thing's over at Sim uh, Market as well for you to take a look at. And then, um, Thai Creations. So, the Thai Creations Mumbai customers, um, one of the first 200 customers of the actual scenery. Uh, by Thai Creations uh, have been selected to receive a gift directly from the developers. Um, basically, they'll send out a, a send original white cap, the designer's logo on front of it, um, but they've listed on their Facebook page um, all the winners, so you can check your order number against uh, where you're at and things. And if you've got one, no doubt either you've already sorted it out. If not, you need to send an email over to them, um, just confirm your name and address, 
and they'll, uh, they'll bang it out to you and you get yourself a little hat for free. So, next along, um, it's not always easy to find uh, the flight simulator related apps in the stores, but when we do find one um, it's interesting to share, we have to share it. And this one works with FSX on the iPad 3, iPhone 4 or iPod, and it's called iFMS and it simulates a flight management system with LNAV, VNAV calculations and a Boeing style. It has nav data updates through Navigraph um, it has a HSI display available. There's another version for X-Plane that is being developed at the moment so keep an eye out for that. But this is available for iTunes, you can check it out. As you can see it's pretty neat on uh, both the iPhone and the iPad. So if you've been looking just for a, a simple FMS then this is your go-to. Uh, it's ifms-fs Com. Um, and then UK2000 uh, released Luton, uh, Luton Extreme, and along with Stansted, it may be the butt of many national jokes, but Luton Airport and its Echo Golf Golf or Whiskey is actually one of the busiest in the UK, um, and is home to many budget and regional operators, as well as many business jets and charter aircraft. And as usual with UK2000 Extreme, um, the uh, senior packages for FS2000X and FSX, Luton comes with many custom structures, uh, full custom ground textures, a lot of extra features such as ground traffic, um, animation and appropriate traffic, things like that. So there's, as you see from the screenshots, um, I, I, it seems to me the UK2000 just keeps getting better and better for each one, each uh, release they do. But if you do fly in out of Luton, then, or if you like UK2000 Extreme packages, then get it Luton because always it's not going to disappoint. Um, and you know, they always they're banging out constant top quality products from there. Now, Coronado recently um, did state that they would not let FS2004. Uh, users still uh, down and they will keep releasing products for FS2004 um, and they have done now with the C90B um, the twin executive turbo prop comes in six liveries um, plus a blank for any repainters out there plus a wide array of custom gauges, animations and eye candy uh, 2D panel fans may want to stay clear though a aircraft only comes uh, with 2D pop-ups for some gauges and the rest available in the virtual cockpit only um, but yeah, but no, as always, I mean, even in FS9 here, Carinado still make it look pretty neat. Um, in the aircraft. I actually have the version in FSX, and do love to fly it every so often. So if you haven't got one, these bad boys do get onto them. Uh, so it's a market, and they sort it out from there. And last but not least of this whole news, which has gone on for quite some time granted, and if you're still here, congratulations. Um, is that the VATSIM uh, Global Conference for 2014 will be held in Vienna and they're pretty excited about it because they managed to um, uh, get a top class venue as well for this um, but if you head over to w14.me um, all the details will be on there for you if you're uh, interested so see between May the 9th and May the 11th 2014 you can get over to the uh, the pricing for the tickets safe from over there. But that's it for this uh, this week's news. Like I say, it has gone on, but it's been a lot of news that's been pumped out. Um, as always, any questions, anything else you want to know, please do give me a shout. Uh, even send me a message on, uh, through the, the channel or leave a comment. Uh, for anyone that might be listening on the podcast, if you do want to um, actually get the links for, for the different things from the description of the video, I will uh, create this short link. If you go to tiny url, that's tiny url um, dot net slash flight sim today one, it's a figure one, then it'll bring you to the video, and obviously then you can um, get the descriptions from there or get the links from there. All right, well, my name is Rob Miller, flightsimtoday.com. I hope you enjoyed this week's news, and uh, we'll talk soon.